right, thank you all supporters. This is our first update since the Kickstarter campaign video log on constant progress towards the events. First of all, thanks for all the support. Major success with 116,000 about over the 80,000 goal. So thank you to all, to you all. Roadmap, so what are we doing? Next, people ask us how we're gonna roll out our affordable eco-housing to the world. The general schedule right now is we're building one house and greenhouse this November. We're gonna build another one early spring next year. And that's those two are gonna be both at Factory Farm on our site. We are gonna fully engineer the, all the structures to make believe that we're in a code jurisdiction while we really have no codes here. We're in a rural area. Now, after that, we're going to begin our training program and do two more builds, house, greenhouse in 2017, culminating with our uh, code compliant, fully code compliant living building challenge version by 2018. So what's the scaling program? The scaling plan is we're training students beginning next year. We're looking at two to four people, possibly two pairs of two and simply scale double every single year from then for the next 17 years to reach 100,000 people who are builders within 17 years. That's the grand vision. Um, how do we bring that to, to people? People ask us, okay, I want this house. This is great. We've seen the market validation. People are quite excited about this. Everyone is. And we're saying, sorry, we can't build. There's only two of us right now who started the project. We're going to train people. So that's our, that's our big plan starting to accept first pilot program next year and then doubling that uh, for the years to come. Now, what are we doing right now? We're very busy preparing for the upcoming workshops. The first one being the compressed earth block press, a one day extreme manufacturing build. So we're gonna build the brick press, followed by building some walls and structures, sample little structures with the, with the brick press. So a day of brick pressing and experimentation and a third day being a one day build of the power cube so that the power cube powers the brick press. After that, we've got November as the major season of building with the greenhouse and aquaponic workshops, aquaponic greenhouse plus the seed home workshops in November. And that's the big plan for this year, including then moving over to Europe, both to uh, Hamburg, Germany, as well as Ghent in Belgium and potentially Paris, France, regarding the 3D printer workshops, the scalable 3D printer construction set, which is about uh, the, the practical applications here are printing twin wall or multi-wall glazing for the aquaponic greenhouse at low cost. Basically, you could even grind up uh, old CDs, which are made of polycarbonate to generate polycarbonate with which you're printing to make glazing panels. So that's looking good. We're getting excited about that. Uh, doing that, a lot of the design work right now uh, and also using the same machine that we're doing with the 3D printer construction set to cut steel, i.e. In, in the form of a CNC torch table. So that's, that's going to build our tractors and other machines that build the houses. So it's a whole ecology once again as we go about it. Uh, next piece of news, Indiegogo. We got a, an email from Indiegogo saying that, hey, you did great on the campaign. Why don't you continue? the success on our platform. So the idea is people are still, a lot of people are asking us, hey, how do you get the rewards? I missed your campaign. Or people wanna add or change rewards. Uh, so we decided to go forward with that and basically replicate the campaign on Indiegogo. It's called on Indiegogo On Demand. So, and we're gonna way reduce the, the amount of rewards because it was just crazy, like the largest number of rewards that we had, like 30 or so. We're gonna bring it down to like seven and continue for people who missed the campaign. So you can tell them about it. They can still continue to support us on the Indiegogo campaign. Okay, as far as some technical details, uh, the biggest challenge right now is actual engineering of the modular housing units that, that we're doing. So the modular construction system does not follow the IRC, the International Residential Code. Simply that kind of stuff that we're doing like in this house here, hybrids of brick construction and modular uh, carpentry panels, they're not really covered by the building codes. So the process we have to go through is getting those engineered by professional engineers and stamped. So what we can do for the public is get the 
the engineering calculations, get all the engineering done that's openly published. But it still turns out that if you're going to build the house, you will need a stamp from an engineer, wherever sta whatever state you are. That's how it works in the United States. If it's a custom, non-standard structure, which basically all of our stuff is not going to be standard. Uh, some of it will be standard, other stuff will not be. Uh, but we definitely need for the more exploratory and ecological things that we're putting in, which are typically illegal, we have to get those engineered. And, and so we're looking for structural engineers primarily to help us on a lot of the, the design. Uh, so if you know a structural engineer who's willing to open source their structural engineering calculations, things like Foundation 101, or Roof 101, or Wall 101 for calculations and all of that, uh, we'd like to get that and to open source that. Um, so that's, that's if you know any people like that, we're looking actively for structural engineers. As far as the uh, next thing you can, you can do if you'd like to contribute, actually tomorrow we're holding our first design sprint, which is a, if you look on the wiki, opensourceecology.org slash wiki, design sprints, you can sign up for a, a, a design sprint, basically a bunch of people working remotely on a computer, uh, collaboratively editing and contributing R&D to a document. Tomorrow we're gonna to be looking for subject matter experts uh, so the theme is a design sprint on, on seeking and identifying subject matter experts where if we find them we invite them we email them or contact them to help us on the the various designs because the core of this is getting all that subject matter expertise so that we're not reinventing the wheel on anything and some of the hot topics are still the biogas digester uh, mass production of stabilized compressed earth blocks there's the thermoelectric generator um, water water catchment and purification from from rainwater and surface water to potable that's a very big topic so, and you can look that up on the design sprints page the invitation is there uh, and I'll include the link below the video here so so this is where we are right now getting ready for all the workshops and in uh, September 23rd is the brick press then November for the the big house and aquaponic greenhouse builds and then December for the 3d printer workshops so stay tuned as we'll continue these updates regularly. And thanks again for supporting us. Thank you.